Rapidly changing climatic conditions are threatening the long-term survival of many species. They have already led to local and in some cases contributed to global extinctions of species. Climate change is also increasing the frequency and intensity of extreme climatic events, which are threatening the integrity of many ecosystems across the globe. On the other hand, the loss of biodiversity due to climate change but also habitat loss and degradation or pollution is deepening the climate crisis. Reduced species abundance, local extinctions, as well as the rapid degradation and loss of ecosystems are having a major impact on our planet's ability to store carbon while reducing nature's and people's ability to adapt to and cope with changing climatic conditions. There's increasing recognition that the climate and biodiversity crises must be tackled in unison. Nature-based solutions, such as setting up of protected areas and restoration and rewilding projects, could be a game-changer to jointly address these crises. It's been recently suggested that the restoration of the planet's most degraded areas, in combination with the protection of biodiversity hotspots, could significantly boost carbon sequestration capacity, while preventing about 70% of predicted species extinctions. However, for nature-based solutions to deliver on these promises, broad joined-up thinking among scientific and practitioner communities is required. The current institutional setup is not yet favouring integrated thinking, thereby hampering the rapid identification, prioritisation and implementation of solutions. Our contributions suggest that to progress environmental efforts that fully integrate the climate and biodiversity agendas, the upcoming Conference of the Parties for the UNFCCC, as well as the CBD, should be used to address the substantial and chronic underfunding of global biodiversity conservation, remove financial incentives that negatively impact biodiversity and climate change, develop higher levels of integration between the biodiversity and climate change agendas, and rethink environmental legislation to better support biodiversity conservation in times of rapid climatic change.